Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, Stu Breach coming to you. It's a proud day to be a San Francisco 49er uh, fan for the second year in a row. The 49ers will be uh, going on to the NFC Championship game for their chance to uh, play in the Super Bowl. Uh, we had two really, really good uh, football uh Games today, Baltimore and uh, Denver, which went into uh, overtime. I believe it was into a second overtime. I was so stuck on that game that I thought that there was going to be some sort of a rule um, that the second game in San Francisco that was pushed back a little bit wouldn't kick off until the one game was over. I know in basketball uh, they have that rule where um, in the playoffs they will push the game back as far as it can so games are never overlapping. Um, I guess. Um, CBS and Fox didn't talk to each other or the NFL and uh, San Francisco kicked off uh, anyways and uh, I sort of it was like I really want to see the ending of this game because that was a really good game that I just didn't want to change the channel and just hear from the uh, Fox announcers that you know this team or that team uh, had won I really wanted to, to, to to pull it through and I, I made it through the whole game and I, and I wanted to see what happened and uh, little do I know I looked down at my phone and the uh, the game has started, and the Packers have scored a touchdown on an interception um, by Kaepernick that was returned by Shields of the Packers. Fuck me! I'm down, I'm down 7-0. So I've already got this feeling in my gut that it's like, well, shit, the Packers are a good team. Maybe it's not going to be our day today. Uh, maybe we aren't going to be, uh, you know, raising up uh, uh, the roof tonight, I guess you can say. Um, the game finally ends. Uh, Baltimore kicks the field goal for the win. And uh, by the time I've actually flipped over, all is well in San Francisco, and it's 7-7. Seven to seven. And uh, the Niners even have the ball to start it out. This was a uh, um, it was a really good close game. It's hard to say the point when the, the Niners really started to pull away with this one. Um, there was only a three-point game at the half with Akers uh, actually making a field goal. Uh, for a first time in a long time, uh, it just Colin Kaepernick was the answer uh, today. He was the uh, the one person on the field that just re honestly really couldn't be stopped, having his uh, you know big huge career day, four total complete touchdowns, um, a ton a ton of yards. They they were going on and on about he ran for the most yards, whether it's a playoff or. Uh, um, regular season game. I have no idea why they keep separate records for playoff games and for regular season games. The game's a game, especially you would think you're playing stronger, tougher competition if you're in the playoffs, but we'll have to see how that pulls out. He, um, uh, he had two uh, touchdowns uh, thrown to Michael Crabtree. Uh, he was the leading rusher. He was the leading passer. He was your MVP. I don't know. I'm I hate to be that one douchebag who's like, you know, like, he's just not my quarterback. He's he's just, he's just not the kind of guy that I'm in love with yet. I mean, I'm just, um, this team's just been through a, a ton this year. I mean, not being over to jump over the hump that is the St. Louis Rams, the early loss to um, the Minnesota Vikings, getting their asses kicked by the Giants. Um, Alex Smith losing his job due to a concussion and uh, the, um, switching over and going with uh, Kaepernick. Just, um, wow. I mean, um, this guy really could get it done. And, I mean, the, I mean, the Niners haven't won a Super Bowl since 1995. And I'm, I'm going to have this weird feeling in my stomach that it's like we're actually going to get it done. And it's going to be a guy that I'm just totally not in love with. And I guess I would be in love with him after that. Um, it, it you you can see the star uh, that Michael Crabtree has been coming. That was the one thing I was really watching on this. The whole defense really really pulled together. All all had a really really good day. Um, tomorrow we got two good football games up there as well. I think everybody uh, in Forty Nine Land will be watching the NFC game a little bit closer than everything else. If it's me, I'm saying go Falcons, baby. On paper, I I you know in my little pick 'em league. I, I picked the uh, the Seahawks uh, for the easy win, but um, you never know, know what can happen. I'm not scared to play the Falcons at all. Uh, even though we did beat the Seahawks earlier on in the year, and we and we beat them at, at, at Candlestick, and if, if you know that that game did pull out, you know we would have home field advantage. Um, I'm honestly not sure that I think we can beat them. 
Uh, it's tough to say, but I mean, that's a damn good football team. And uh, they beat the shit out of us last time we played them. Uh, we were almost full strength. If, if, if everybody, uh, everybody I can think of was out there. And I mean, uh, they're actually adding people back that are coming back from suspensions that makes their team better than they were before. And it, it's tough to say, you know, you don't, you never want to count your team out, but I mean, that team is good and they're hot at the right time. Uh, Russell Wilson's looking like an all pro and, um, I would hate to run into them. So, uh, tomorrow I will strap on my dirty bird feathers. I will crank it down like it's 1998 and, um, see what those Falcons can do. Because even if we have to play them in the dome and it matches up, uh, I, I think we got them easy. And um, we're just a better football team than them. Maybe it'll be weird that they're a better football team than the Seahawks. I'm not sure. But, uh, sure, but um, good day to be the Harbaugh's. Both teams move on. I think the Harbaugh's were like this last year, but I think both teams lost. The Ravens and the 49ers both lost in the AFC and the NFC Championship game. So neither of them made the Super Bowl. But... Um, and this shit's fun. Love this ride. Go 49ers. Uh, we'll see everybody uh, maybe tomorrow. Make a little video talking about uh, who we're playing. Because it's going to be a jazz. Thanks, guys. Peace out.